Hi guys, welcome back. First off, let's just excuse my appearance. I've literally spent the entire day disinfecting my house. Ain't nobody in this house gonna be catching coronavirus. <laughs> Today I am gonna be reviewing something that's very, very exciting to me. I am gonna be reviewing You Tan and Tone's new tanning mist. Now, I'm already quite a fan of these. I have got two of these already in the original formula of Jamie and Genevieve's collaboration. I can already tell you that there is some differences in the packaging, which I'm so glad to be seeing. So in the original packaging, the spray bit was, a gold foil now this is all very you know nice to look at at first but once you start to use the product look at it oh uh, it is so monkey it's like the foil just melts off or something and that ain't a vibe but with the new bottles they've changed the lid up i don't know if they've actually just changed the lid period but it's now a nice little lilac colour and it doesn't look like it's actually gonna destroy and look minging, which is nice. So what's exciting to me is that the formula is now 50% darker. Now, I am a dark tan fan. As you can see, this is Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. It is my favourite tan of all time and I am unlikely to ever swap it because it's just what works for me. This is only one layer by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing the Utan Almond Milk Tanning Water. This is also vegan. Hopefully this is going to be the quickest review ever so I'm just going to get a move on. Ooh. Ooh. I seen on Utan's page, I think it was, that this sort of smelt babyish and I absolutely understand why they're saying that because it does. It smells like babies. <laughs> I don't know. It just you need to try it for yourself. Anyways, so that's the spritz done. I think you've got to leave this on for four to six hours. So I will check in in four hours time. See ya for now. Okay, so I'm back and I've got some opinions on this product. This isn't actually a four to six hour check-in, it's the day after. And like I said, I have got some opinions. Now, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. This mist does work. Great. Fantastic. We love a tanned face. But is it 50% darker? Would I really class it as a medium to dark tan as they say on the website? Absolutely f not. I disagree completely with that. I would say if you don't like the lavender scent that the original formula has, then try this one out definitely i just would not say it's darker than the original formula at all i think that is such a massive stretch for you tan to claim because i just do not agree with that in the slightest okay that's just being blunt now that being said would i still use it and still recommend it yeah 100 percent. can you see this it is streak free it's nice it's a nice color however I want to explain why I feel this way. Well, I use this in total three times to get this colour. Three. I wouldn't exactly say I'm dark. I'd say I'm medium at most. And I just want to show you how much product I have used in three spritzes. As you saw before, me spritzing my face that amount of times, that's exactly how I'd normally spritz my face with the original formula. However, after filming, I sprayed my face again, the same amount of spritzes, and after the four to six hour mark, I just wasn't expecting what I seen, which, you know, I just, I was a bit disappointed, because I'm not going to lie, I would say the original formula was darker. So yeah, that's a bit odd, especially for something that claims to be 50% darker, like a whole shade darker. I wouldn't agree with that whatsoever. And then afterwards, I actually really went in and doused my face, and that's the colour that I've got now. I would definitely categorise this as a light to medium tan, 
at most. Yeah, I just think it's quite a stretch for you tan to claim that it's a medium to dark tan because I just definitely would not rate it like that. I'm not knocking the product at all. I really like it, but I just feel like if you're buying this product specifically because you think it's going to be darker, I just would back down on your expectations of that because I think you're just going to be disappointed if you're a tanning fanatic and you think you're going to end up all dark because you, you're not. That's just me being brutally honest. Thankfully, it's not like you tan charges a premium for the darker, the darker shades. So, it's, you're not going to go out of pocket if you already like the original formula and just want to try something different. I just hope that this Jamie Genevieve 50% Darker doesn't disappoint me like this one has. If you want to see a review on this, then it's going to be the next video that I'm going to be uploading to my channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. I think that's pretty much all I want to say on this product this review i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was informative don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you for the review of this product bye guys